up your YouTube, search for Stupid Meadows, watch on your big screen. Or another device if you're at home. Get yourself comfy, this could take a while. What a happy scene. Something new every day for your long term memory. This is so exciting, it is nearly time for a Stupid Assembly. everyone here we are at another curriculum assembly and what an amazing assembly it is going to be everybody nothing to do with me everything to do with the expert but before we get on with that let's kick off in the usual ways uh, for each other we every day we to improve we and together we will and our stookly motto is and our stooky curriculum is, and four words that make the magic happen. Brilliant. Okay, so I am full of questions this week, and I don't know why particularly, I just am. And these are the questions that I am asking myself, and I'm wondering about you too. See, I wonder how the last week has gone for you since I last spoke to you. Um, what has been your best learning during the last week, do you think? What have you enjoyed most? What do you think you have done the best in? I wonder also what's been the most challenging aspect of your learning in the last week. And I wonder why it was challenging. And I wonder what you did to deal with the challenge or how you, overca how you overcame it. So pause me now, teachers, and have two minutes max to talk about that. Challenges, Best learning, the whole bit, because I've been doing lots of wondering. Go. Okay, here we are back again. Um, brainy brain scientists, so these cognitive sciences, people that look at how our brains work and how we learn, they tell us that our learning gets better when we get better at thinking about how we learn. It's called metacognition, when we're thinking about how we learn. So taking a bit of time regularly to reflect, which means to think about inwardly, to think about how we learn is going to help us become more successful learners going forward. So I just wanted to take that moment this week to really think about it. How have I been doing in my learning? How can that help me get even better? Really important questions. Now, anyway, our expert this week certainly knows a thing or two about successful learning. In fact, he's going to agree with every other expert that we've had so far in saying that we never stop learning. Uh, even as adults, because things are always changing and because the world is always changing and because technology always moves forward, there's always much more to learn. So we are lifetime learners and you're just at the beginning of your journey. Now, the other week, um, if you remember back, so we're going back probably a couple of months now, so you need to do some really good remembering here. Um, we had a music production expert on. Do you remember Billy, my son? Well, he talked, didn't he, about playing his guitar and needing to practice a lot to get really good at it, which was a good advice. But he also talked probably a bit more about being a sound engineer um, and about working on making other people's music sound good. Well, we've got another music expert this week, but also he's an expert really in kind of music technology and, and computing as well. He's kind of combined all of that together in one role, which is really cool, isn't it? Um, while our music curriculum at school, though, because it made me think about what do we actually do? While our music curriculum at school kind of focuses on performing music, so um, singing, that kind of thing, um, we're learning a little bit about musical notation, so kind of how music gets written. Um, we're, talk we're learning about famous composers and learning pieces of music, that kind of thing. While we focus on that, by the time you get to secondary school, like St Peter's or like Hinchinbrook, um, you will get an opportunity to use lots of computer-based music software that will help you to um, compose music using the computer software and also edit your very own music. So lots of opportunities to explore what music is as a subject and a discipline beyond even that that we've begun or begun to do here at Stukely with you guys um, at this point in your learning journeys. Now, 
but back to today's expert. Now, I have put our Stookly Six que questions to him, and this is what he came up with. So, take it away, this week's expert. Hi Stookley Meadows, my name's John. I live just down the road from school and my son is at Stookley. I also help Mr Singletary with things like the school website and I'm one of the chairs of governors at school, uh, which I also share with another person, also called John. I first went to school in Yorkshire in the north and then in Kent in the south and I liked school because I played piano and saxophone in lots of bands and orchestras with my friends. With one of our school bands I even got to record a CD and then be on TV playing saxophone on Blue Peter and I even got a Blue Peter badge. Occasionally I'm playing music in a band, in church, on a stage, and you can even hear me on Spotify. Most of the time though, I work for a music company who makes software for musicians like these. My job is product specialist, which is another word for expert. I teach people how to use the software to write music like this from How to Train a Dragon. Musicians ask me when they want to know how our software works. I teach them and then they can make music and do their job. I'm also the person people ask when they get stuck. So when they can't figure something out, they ask me. Sometimes I work from home. I've got various keyboards and instruments and things here that I use. Sometimes I do YouTube live streams, so yes, I am a YouTuber. Here's my green screen. Sometimes I get to travel and talk to other people there. I've been to Bulgaria, Canada, Austria, Germany, Australia, America, Japan, and many other countries as part of my job. So here, for example, this is where I saw the Hollywood sign. Sometimes I get to meet famous people or people whose names you might not know, but they're writing music for films that you've seen, like Avengers Endgame. Or they write music that Mr Singletary has used in other assemblies, like this one. The things I enjoy about my job is that I get to play music, I get to play with gadgets, I get to work out how things work and then teach other people, and I like the fact that my job isn't the same every day. Sometimes I'm here at home learning new things, sometimes I work somewhere else and teaching other people. Things are changing very, very quickly. By the time you finish school, everything I'm using today will be old and there'll be new versions and new ways of doing things. The biggest challenge for me is that there's something new to learn all the time. I'm not at school now, but I never stop learning. I can spend a lot of time reading and then using that information to figure out new things. And because I'm reading and learning new things, people ask me as the expert. To become an expert, find something you really, really enjoy. You can tell you enjoy doing it 
because it makes you happy when you're doing it and you lose track of the time. You think you've just had breakfast and suddenly it's tea time. So find something you really enjoy doing and not only enjoy doing, but telling other people about it. If you get so good at something that other people will pay you to do it, then it won't even feel like work because you're doing something you enjoy. But it will take a lot of work. You need to put in a lot of effort and practice to get really, really good at something. I started playing instruments when I was seven and I still practice and I'm still learning about music every day, but I enjoy it. Find the things you enjoy doing. For some people, it's writing and they write books. Some people like teaching or flying planes. Some people enjoy working out how things work. For me, it's a combination of working out how something works and explaining that to other people and I get to play music while I'm doing it. So what do you enjoy? So not only was today's expert video full of top information and expert advice, it was also full of really impressive video editing. I'm sure you'll agree with me. Mr. Um, Mrs. Singletary and, and me noticed that, certainly. Anyway, I was particularly interested um, when um, he said that if you find a job that you love doing what you love doing, you'll pro you will hardly notice that you're working at all. Now, that's something that lots and lots of adults would agree with. Um, and if they don't feel that way, would really wish that they did feel that way about their jobs. So if that sounds good to you, if you want to get be, be in a job when you're older, so that you hardly feel that you're working because you love what you're doing so much. It's really important that you put in all the hard work and effort while you are at school, because that's how you'll get to make lots and lots of choices when you're older. So you know what I'm going to say, because I'm all this talk about working hard. You know what I'm going to say, everyone, don't you? Yes, of course, I am going to say work hard, be kind. And that will get you a really long way in life, not only into the job that you love doing, but it will also win you lots of friends and allow you to have a very happy life. So everyone, work hard, be kind, have a great week, and I will see you next time. Take care, stick to meadows. Ha, oh, I, I like Mrs. Stevens for lots and lots of reasons, but one of them is that it was her idea for the Meet the Expert assemblies. I think they're fantastic. Another brilliant expert sharing his love of music and technology with you. I wonder who it's going to be next week. I know that Mrs. Stevens has got somebody lined up. Right, just before we finish, birthdays. Hey, 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 it's time to say we've got a stupid birthday. Hey, 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 it's time to say we've got a stupid birthday. <laughs> oh, come on! Okay, we are saying happy birthday to Amelia in year five and Emily in foundation stage. Happy birthday, girls. I know I say this all the time, but I hope you've had fun with family. You've got fun with your friends today. Uh, and lots to look forward to. Happy birthday. Let's finish with everyday knowledge for you. And we are learning to remember things worth remembering Learning to remember things worth remembering Learning to remember things worth remembering Everyday knowledge for you And we are learning to remember things worth remembering Learning to remember things worth remembering Learning to remember things worth remembering Everyday knowledge for you Oh, I tell you what, so in everyday knowledge so far, what have we had? We've had quite a lot of geography knowledge. That's to do with the maps and the countries and the bodies of water and so on. We've also had a bit of maths knowledge with our number sequences and with our measurements and with our um, uh, time, etc, etc. And we've also had quite a lot of history knowledge with our dates. Well, we're going to go back to our map because it's still floating around in our working memory. So uh, here is Europe. We've got eight countries on here. Can you please tell me country number seven? That's right, it's Spain. Now can you tell me country number six? That's right, it's France. What about country number one? That's right, it's Scotland. What about number eight? 
Yes, well done. Right, we're going to move swiftly on. Um, now, uh, we haven't done this for a little while, so I wonder if we can get stuff from the long-term memory back into the working memory straight away. Let's see how we can do. How many millimetres in a centimetre? 10, well done. How many days in a week? That's right, seven. How many metres in a kilometre? That's right, 1,000. Who's that? Is that Mr. Cooper? No. Mr. Cooper. <laughs> Mr. Cooper trying a bit of everyday knowledge for us. How many months in a year? That's right, 12. How many years in a decade? That's right, see you next time. Oh, sorry, the answer was 10. <laughs> Come on.